Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev, welcome to this new let's play of Endless Legend. Now this is very crudely put, like civilization with magic. <laughs> well, that's, that's it's very crudely put, I mean all the factions in this game are quite distinct and play rather differently from each other. Um, you, have the, you have builders, you have people who ex are excellent at expanding, uh, technocrats, you have uh, the people that are just uh, out there to eat everybody else, you have the wise diplomats, the Wily merchants, you have the one city challenge folks, because they can only build one city. And then there are three new ones, at least for me, because the last time I played this game was somewhere around when the Guardians DLC came out, and then I think that's like three expansions ago. So, <laughs> there will be a lot of new things for me. And these are the three new factions. You have the Forgotten, who basically can't do any research, they'll have to steal everything, they're all about espionage. You have the Morgar, which are, as far as I know, some kind of... Uh, uh, seafaring creatures of some sort so they basically are very much aquatic and then you have these alai whatever they are and i think i'm gonna play them i mean look at them white space foxes what's not to love now they're a bit curious as far as i could have read through their uh, uh um, their things here they are very much in tune with the planet that the game happens on origa which means they are much more affected by the seasonal changes the game has Summers and winters, and uh, yeah, these winters in this game, that's pretty much Game of Thrones winters. They are really bad, <laughs> and they last longer and longer as the game continues, and has a significant impact on the game. And these guys are more impacted by summer and winter than other people, other folks, especially on the diplomatic front. But they also do shifting depending on seasons, so that could be interesting. Um, they're also about some kind of something. Com they called pearl, pearl sensitive. I have no idea what that is. It's a new mechanic for me, so we'll explore that. Um, and they are unfortunately not keen on expanding, which is kind of sad. So they're, they're going to be um, hard to uh, create a large civilization with because of this. They're going to grow slowly. They're going to get that crankier the more cities you have. So we'll see how that goes. We're going to try them anyway. Uh, we are gonna play on a massive map Not quite sure what uh, to set play on here. I'm gonna go with a few continents Hopefully that'll create at least two bodies of two land masses. I hope we're gonna play with uh, eight civilizations Everything else fairly normal uh, Yeah, and we'll take it from there and see where see what happens in this game Now the, this species is designed for quest victory and I've never completed a quest victory, so I want to try that as well. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I picked them. Um, I might have gone with the other ones. There, there are some others that I'm familiar with, at least, on the quest side. So I don't know if this quest is tougher. Because the quests are a bit different for each uh, species or each uh, faction. And the to me, the problematic one has always been the factions that require conquest as part of the quest. Um, there are a few that don't require it in their quest, I think. But uh, it always it really surprised me that, that the Master Diplomats, the Drakari, actually requires conquest in their quest line. At any rate, there are multiple ways of winning this game. Uh, quest is one of them. Uh, you can build wonders, you can just expand and take as much territory... Um, take a massive, massive amount of territory and win by sheer size. And you can win by, well, crushing everybody. So there are a couple of ways to victory. But these guys were apparently designed for quests. Let's see what they're all, all about. Hmm? You beings fixed, inflexible, and slow are not true Oregans and do not see that she, our mother, as her life ebbs low, shall be delivered by the Alai. For we, who change, adapt, and persevere, will fight for her survival come what may. So heed these dire warnings most sincere, for ruin comes to those who bar our way. Lovely. So they style themselves the guardians of the planet Origa. Okay, we're immediately going to meet the Drakari. That's their special bonus. They can know they know exactly where everybody else lives. And they are master diplomats. So I don't expect them to be trouble compared to quite a few other factions. 
Uh, yeah, fair enough. We well, can't really do, do any diplomacy this early in the game. So, let's see where we are. Are we all things considered? Uh, we are fairly far north. That, that I think, is the map edge. Uh, I don't know if we can see the southern map edge yet. So we shall see. What do we have? Let's look at the train yields. Do you have anything good nearby? Oh my. Okay, six production. That's pretty good. And four food up there and five food there. There is some good terrain in this area. Escape specimens there. Hmm. No rivers though. Okay, I'm going to detach my units. We're going to have a little bit of an exploration. Now, you can only build one city per sector. I mean, the map is divided into certain regi or regions, rather. You can see the Wega outline here. And you can only build one city within each of those. Uh, over time, you can expand your city. You can build districts. You can claim more land. And, uh, of course, the, the tile yields in those areas. But initially, you're kind of stuck with what you start with. Uh, okay, another one over there. Hidden Springs. I want to go there so I can see what's there. Okay. So there's a tiny bit more of our zone down this way. I can't see it yet. And I want to click our other seeker. I want to go there first. Oh boy. Okay. And then I want to go this direction, so I can, like, expand and see. Okay, so there are some minor factions up there. The boss. There are, like, one minor faction in each region. And if you pacify them or win them over, they'll provide a bonus. The boss will give us extra food. Okay, so here we have our settler dude. And now we do have quite a few interesting places now, though. Let's see. By holding over, we can get... Um, the tile yields. 9 food, 10 production. 3 science, 6 gold, and 10 approval. And approval is important, especially for our species, since they will get cranky for uh, the, the larger the city is. Mm. Now, there wasn't anything special out this way, right? Not really. Uh, we have the escaped best. Oh, that's a rune, isn't it? Uh, can I cancel it? See, what's, what's there? That is black dust anomaly. Escaped specimens there. Okay. So a lot of special things out, out there. Some dirt fields. Uh, glass steel. Right. Uh, luxury resources. We have some glass steel. That's all we have. Okay. So I can't build on top of that square. I think. Right? Can I? Okay. I thought I couldn't. But okay. Fair enough. 11 food, 6 uh, production. I want to find a good balance of everything, but... Uh, uh, I don't know. Here we can get a ton of production. Or rather, a ton of food. Um, 12, 12, that's a good balance, I suppose. 12, 10. Seven, six, and a ton of gold. So let's see. This tile yields approval. Now that's a rubbish plan spot. We can't get the resources from the other from the other zone, so kind of lose out by building there. Uh, so if I want the approval thing, uh, 11, 6, 6, 13. I have to build it there pretty much. 9, 10, 3, 6. That's a lot of food. Food is growth is, yeah. Food is growth, and that's rather precious too. I'm kind of 
kind of torn here. Um, if we go there, we pretty much have to one way of, one way of expanding. It's going to take a long time to get decent production there, though. Here, we're going to have a ton of food, but our other yields are going to be fairly small. At least until we can build a couple of districts. Uh, we can go here. We're going to be coastal right away. Which is interesting. But uh, building down to that approval is going to be tricky. Let's see, one, two, three districts before we... Actually, two districts if we're here. One, two... Or if we go there, we're gonna... it's gonna be three builds. Let's see, one district, two districts... And we have good squares built in that direction. And this all the way, we have... I'm tempted to go there. I mean, more food there, obviously, but, uh, And more science. You know what, we'll start here, and then we'll build our districts southward around this ruin. We can't build on top of our ruin. But I think that's gonna be okay-ish. I just want some production to start off with. So that uh, the construction things don't take forever. So, we have our first city. We're gonna immediately go with the Founder's Memorial. Uh, which is basically, as you can see, gives a ton of tile yields. And you kind of need that. I, I find that a bit odd that you... Uh, that this is, is, is a structure at all. I mean, it's, as far as I can tell, a no-brainer always as the first, first choice. Okay, our hero followed the settler. That wasn't quite what I planned. Uh, let's have him go this way. He, he can't explore this turn. Oh, never mind. He's going to do that next turn. Uh, other things we need to do our first turn, set our research. So, um, I'm going to go search party into language square. I almost always do that. I think we're going to go with the mill foundry. To get some extra production. And then science. Library... And yeah, sure, we'll take that as well. And we need some economy. Unfortunately, we don't have any rivers. Which is... Isn't this one? Exploited river tile to be built. Yeah. But you have the dust filtration and we are coastal, so yeah, we'll... We'll see. We'll go with the Empire Mint. There we go. Starting text all set up. Okay, our army is scattered for the four winds. We need to group them up. And now we begin our quest, I believe, right? There we go. New quest added. One, the Pearls of Origa. When Origa brings forth their fruit uh, um, in winter, it will be a, a sign that once again our time has come. Epistle, page 4. So the burden and the glory fall to me. Uh, we have taken the return of the Guardians as a signal from the forests and the mountains. Uh, we come together to rebuild our culture. Uh, in my hands sits the waxed and oiled leather pouch, black with age, that contains the epistle of my goodness, Veras Grayspire and the Eucologian. The ways of prayer. Through all the silent years, we have guarded these scrolls, handing them down from father to son, waiting for the moment when we could once again serve our role as sentinels of Mother Origa. We are together exer except for the flying skyfin, a symbol of our power and freedom. With its strength, we can reclaim our place by her side. These pearls, the winter fruit of the epistle, Signal our resurgence. We will harvest them and use them to build an altar to Origa. As we do her bidding, we will grow our own strength. So, let's see in a summary. Your people are converging after centuries in the wilderness. You lack only the Skyfin, a powerful ally and totem of your people. With its help and the potent pearls, you hope to save Mother Origa from disaster. So, objective is, search the indicated ruins to regain control of the Skyfin, a flying unit 
unit flying in this region. Let's see, reward, one sky fin and two pearls. Show location. This one? Seriously? Okay. Really? Is it? That's... <laughs> I want to be absolutely sure. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, that is very cool. It's going to be right next door. It is next turn, so we can do this immediately then. Quest 1 updated. Your people are converging after centuries. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, we searched it. We got the reward. New objective. Build the altar of Origa. You will need to gather enough pearls by searching ruins or by collecting them when the dark season brings them to the surface. Okay. So we got a Skyfin unit. Uh, first thing we're going to do right now is group up our units. So our hero doesn't go around alone. And then our hero is going to keep moving. I can probably remove the yield for the moment. Let's search. We find two pearls, ten dies. Okay. Find more goodies. Uh, did we not... Oh, okay, so searching the Skyfin did not actually explore the ruin. Okay. Well, the Skyfin is... Well, it's a flying unit. It is big. It can only, can't be paired with their other units. So we shall see what we can do with it. Let's see. What did we find out here? Spice deposit. And some chromatic lands. Okay. It wouldn't have changed our uh, settling policies, I think. It is a flying unit, but we can't uh, go across water without embarking, I think, so... That doesn't matter. So, as for the minor village here, we have some options. Once we research the uh, parlay thing, we can actually talk to them, perform quests, and uh, pacify them that way. Or we can just attack them outright, destroy them, and rebuild them later. Either works. First though, we want to research this as well, I think. Okay, we found 30 dust and 2 pearls. Whatever they are. Um, am I strong enough to destroy the boss? I wonder. You know what? We're gonna try. I mean, we have the Skyfin. We have a big, bad unit. If we don't pacify them, they're gonna start spawning units and be... ...annoying. We don't want them to be annoying. We want them to be dead. So, I think we will do this. Uh, he's gonna be nearby. That's gonna be reinforcements. Uh, yes, we'll attack. They have two centaurs. 113 strength for us. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, AI thinks we are going to win. Let's fight. Ready to fight. And as you can see, we fight on the actual terrain of the game. So that's kind of cool. And we, did, we are going to get uh, reinforcement from the city over time. Uh, I'll freely ad admit that I'm kind of sucky at this whole thing. Um, let's see, that's our hero. So we start with cavalry units initially, which I believe is also what he is. Uh, I'm gonna move you there. I think you have ranged attacks. I don't know. I hope you do. Uh, and we're gonna just start like this. And the Seeker emerged right away. Um, targeting... Is that...? Oh, the militias showed up already. Cool. Okay, fine. Just attack. I suck at this game, so we'll see how this goes. I'm just ordering to, to go and kill. Which they are.
Yeah, okay, our hero has a ranged attack. Uh, the support unit will do something fancy, I think. I hope. You don't have detailed control, you can just give wide orders as far as I know. So we'll see how this goes. Which is basically, as you can see here, targeting. Uh, who are you gonna help, what you're gonna do. We'll just trust the AI on things. Now they can't maneuver. They're kinda trapped. They have all kinds of modifiers. The free counter is rather irksome. Unfortunately, all our units are melee units. With the exception of the hero. So, we're kind of stuck here. These new guys can't really help until the first line dies, and I don't really hope they don't. I could, of course, retreat a bit and widen the front line, but nah. It'll be fine. Each battle will also only last six phases, so if you haven't won by then, it ends up in a draw. Could have just automated the whole darn thing. Rather than uh, play through it, but ah. Uh, it looks like that guy is dying at least. Yeah, all the militias can't attack because they can't access the enemy. I just do this. Looks like he's gonna die. Oh, aren't you targeting this guy? Yes, you are. Oh, you took damage. I don't like this. Of course, that's why he's dying faster. Our hero is attacking him. Now, though, we can surround him. And the units are. Very good. And that poor guy is in trouble now. Yeah, everybody attack him. I don't know why I did this, actually. I could just automate it, because I'm gonna rely on the AI for battles anyway. Since I have never quite understood how to do this system effectively. So I always screw up when I try to command anything other than click the button here. Though I do like to control the initial deployment. At least if the units are archer units. There we go. So we destroy them. Kill them off. Gain some experience. Destroy the village. We can rebuild it later. That's fair enough. And what's out here? Sunken ruins. Hmm. It is quite close to the coast. We'll embark and then send our Skyrim, madam. Skyrim? Skyfin? That creature. Okay. So now we cleared out that. Which means this whole region is, well, ours. Uh, Fritta, that's quite the name. Uh, what do we want to call it? Pearl Town. There we go. Much more, much prettier. Fritta, my goodness. Ugh. Quite the name. I do wonder about the whole name generation on this, in this game, because they sound so strange. Most of the regions. Let's see, okay, we have a couple of things going on. Uh, hero has leveled up. Let us inspect our hero. So, we can just give him a tons of skill things. Um, we're gonna give him Indiana Bones. For the simple reason that this guy is gonna be the one that runs around the map and finds things. I will say this, this faction is rather quick. Um... At least on the open field. I mean, they have cavalry, they have flying units. Let's explore this. Dive. Yeah, it would have been better to do this with the heroes, but yeah. Let's explore. We found 30 dust and some pearls. Okay, fair enough. Get back on shore, would you? Ooh. So a storm out there. Turbulence. Yeah, this is definitely new. They have... Uh, <laughs> oh my! Sea terrain. That's new to me. Lightning. Weather situation. Mm, cool. Okay, population has increased to two in our starting city. I think we're going to keep them on food for the time being. I just want to grow the town a bit. And see uh, if 
we can gain more population and do things. Maybe even we'll start building districts and everything. And of course, claim build more settlers. Even though our uh, even though our uh, civilization doesn't particularly like that. And one other thing, we did get some resources, didn't we? Yeah, we got some luxury resources. So I could do this. As you can see, we've done gain for 10 turns. Extra influence, produ uh, influence production. And 5% extra approval. I'm going to hold off though. Because our species, or our, uh, our guys, they were... See, they had something uh, about luxuries. There we go, alchemists. Oh, it's just that we have the tech for it. Or we can research... The okay, never mind. Uh, th this special ability would have made it so that each luxury unit you fire off after already having some would produce more. But since we don't actually have that, we can't get that benefit. So I could start that right away. I'm not gonna though. I, st I still want to save up and bunch up the resources. And uh, yeah. Regardless, it is time for a break and we'll see where this game takes us next time. We're gonna try to pursue, pursue our quest, we're gonna try to explore a bit and see if we can find everybody. We know there's a dra draconid somewhere out there, since we already met them. And there are several other empires as well, and who knows if they're friends or foe. Time will tell. Time for break. Thank you for watching. <laughs>